One of the best ways to gauge how truly brilliant, effective and good a performance car is, is actually to give it to someone who's not a fan of it and let them experience it as a neutral observer. With the McLaren P1, that's the case for me. I don't dislike the car, I've just never particularly been a fan of it. Or, for that matter, its two main rivals, the LaFerrari and the Porsche 918. I don't dislike the cars, I'm just not a huge fan of them. Driving the P1 on racing games though, in particular on this occasion Drive Club, does make me respect the car. I still don't love it, but it's certainly a very impressive vehicle. And I don't mean just for its pure straight line performance, because it's not difficult to make a car fast. There's plenty of cars which are fast, but that doesn't necessarily make them brilliant. And at the end of the day, the P1 has a lot to live up to. In fact, a lot more than most other supercars to live up to, because most other supercars have nothing to live up to. They're just supercars. This car, though, has arguably the most dominating predecessor you could possibly have, the McLaren F1. Despite being 20 years old, it's still considered to be one of the best cars ever made, and is still a benchmark of what supercars should be and can be. Porsche used the McLaren F1 in their development of the Carrera GT, and Bugatti used it in their development of the Veyron as a comparison tool. This car takes over the mantle. So the question is, does it do a justifiable and good job of it? Well, I would say yes, it does because although the top speed is actually lower than the original F1 due to a speed limiter, it's actually faster without the speed limiter, it's more about the track potential than it ever has been before. And it's actually about as different as you could get in terms of its methods to the F1. The McLaren F1 was a very analog, old school, mechanical supercar. And in its day, that was an effective thing to be. Nowadays though, things are much more electronic and electronics can be a lot quicker than humans. Incorporate that into a McLaren and you're going to have a pretty amazing vehicle. The P1, in the case of Drive Club, is a car where you can feel that brilliance at work. Making a car that has over 900 horsepower drivable is no small task and McLaren with this car definitely pulled it off.